Welcome to the ugly side of the K-pop industry, Imitation, episode 1. a very interesting take on what we know as K-pop or mm -hmm. in our limited knowledge what we know as Blackpink, yep. Twice, Suzy, uh, Dreamcatcher, BTS, now. Yes. And although the K-pop industry in this day and age has reached a, a height mm -hmm. in terms of transparency and taking care of their trainees, uh, this is of course a dramatization <laughs> and of course we do have like, it feels contrived but that stuff does occur yeah, in I mean, the industry. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like the stuff that you don't hear a lot about or maybe you just kind of read about and the rumors that might circulate and around fandom in general yeah. but like this is the type of stuff that you read about or you hear about the rumors around the k-pop industry and the trainees and what they have to go through and uh what <laughs> you need help i just lost i just lost my train of thought this might help But Copico. Copico should help. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh, that is good. As I was saying, what the trainees go through before they reach stardom, there's a lot of heartache and some sad stories of trainees that just don't make it and what happens to them in their mental capacity and how they handle it. And that's really, really the, the crux of imitation. Absolutely. And uh, in this case, the story is about Lee Maha, mm -hmm. who is an aspiring trainee, and uh, the group Shacks. The show really starts off in a very mysterious way where the boy band Shacks is about to debut and their lead you know, member just disappears out of thin air. And yeah. so that kind of starts in this kind of really thrilling aspect of it. But then it really kind of revolves around Lee Maha, who is this trainee dreaming of becoming big and debuting herself from a big company. And what happens is she gets cut from the current company that she's in and kind of almost gets traded or sent down to like a lower level company so that she can debut herself. And of course, things happen and transpire where, you know, you get to see the dark side of that industry. But going back to what you were saying about jumping around in time, yeah, we start in the prologue with the debut of Shax and with Maha on her way to this smaller company to help fill in for a trainee that disappeared. Then we go back to her trainee days at Musicholic and we get and we get additional context as to what they have to go through, how much they have to train, and, and all of these trainees' aspirations to join bigger companies. And then it dovetails back into the van ride to <laughs> Omega Company. And this is where we go back to present time, or so we think, because Shax is about to debut, Yunjo disappears, and mm -hmm. Ryuk has to go up to the the wires and do do that stunt. And then Omega-3 has to debut and their former member is discovered to have taken her life and so they can't debut. And so we jump forward three years later and Shax is a huge group. Ryuk is on to doing movies and winning awards. And of course the namesake of this show, imitation. Maha, has become an imitation. Mm -hmm. She is, you know, she's, she's playing some extra roles in movies. She's in one with Ryuk, but or I guess what's trending or what has gone viral that even Shax has seen is a video of her imitating Lari. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are in the present story right now where it seems like Lee Maha is like down to her like lowest of low. It seems like she's getting these small parts and like participating in like really weird like shows. Like you said, she's imitating, yeah. uh, what's her name? Lari. Lari. I can't talk with this thing in my mouth. So it seems like when this video goes viral, this is probably going to be the start of the story where her, where she gains notoriety through the internet and maybe some popularity and maybe that catapults her to be pushed into the spotlight. And so Ryuk now, they kind of did the scene with the movie together yeah. and she has this really tiny part. He accidentally slashes her because of the miscommunication and how the formation is supposed to be. But what's really, really interesting here is like, I want to find out what happens with Lee Maha moving forward, like what happens with their relationship it seems like there's some kind of love story between the two of them i'm just really really invested into how she gets out of this rut absolutely and at the end of the episode of course uh her manager doesn't show up to drive her home and ryuk is there with his mm. van to pick her up mm -hmm. and we find out that you know 
And as he says, have I seen her before when they cross paths at that rest stop, they show or they go back in time again yeah. that Lee Maha actually showed up to the Star is Born dance group, which mm -hmm. is what Ryuk was a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I guess she learned dance from them and that's their history. I think the, the history between the two is definitely a big history and they kind of forgot each other. I think that's that's the feeling I'm getting. I mean, I don't think she's forgotten him, but I'm pretty sure he's forgotten her and like yeah, all of these sense. little pieces are starting to come back into his head. I don't know what's going to happen. Like it was a little bit confusing, you know, while we were watching this with all the time jumps and all that, we're trying to put the pieces together. But what I think is going to happen is that they're going to become a little bit closer. Maybe as his career continues to grow and they continue to cross paths, love will start to blossom between the two of them. Yeah, that's certainly possible. I don't see romance blossoming. I do, th I mean, of course, uh, in a K-drama, that's always alluded to at yeah, some point. But, but I want to see her, like, make it to stage. Like, yeah, I want to see her I make see, it big, you I know? see, I see com competition between the two. Oh, you know, he's okay. already at the top, mm -hmm. and she's going to gain notoriety from her imitation video, mm -hmm. and she's going to be able to debut, and she's going to start oh. going on to movies and being an actor, and, and he's going to start coming down. I don't know. I don't want to yeah. wish that upon... Yeah. I don't want to wish I don't want to wish failure upon anyone in any of these K dramas but if she's going to experience a rise it, it also somebody has sense. to fall. <laughs> yes, somebody has to fall. But that'll do it for our reaction of episode one of Imitation. We look forward to episode two when it comes out. But if we decide to cover this, it's largely up to you guys. So please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let us know you want us to cover it. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you know when we post new videos. And of course, we'll see you next week.